Hey, David Can here. We're going to be looking at a question from your Hayes and Harris Math SL textbook. This is exercise 2A, and we're going to be looking at question 4, A, B, and C. In this question, uh, we're looking for the next two terms in each of these number sequences. So let's start with the first one, 95, 91, 87, 83. The first thing that I notice is that these numbers are going down. So let's look at them on a number scale. Let's start at maybe 100. And we'll go down in blocks of 5 to 90, 85. We'll go down to 80. Let's plot 95, then 91, then 87, then 83. And what I see is that every time we're going down by about the same amount. This is telling me that we're likely dealing with some sort of subtractive process. Every time we go down, we subtract it looks like the same amount. 95 take 91, that's 4. 91 take 87, that's 4. 87 take 83, that's 4. So I think the next two terms are probably going to be 83 take 4, that's 79. And 79 take 4, that's 75. So the, the pattern here is subtract a fixed amount. For the next question, um, again we have a pattern. This one's going up. 5, 20, 80, th 320. Whoa. So right off the bat, it seems like it's not going up in even increments of an addition amount. So 5 to 20, that's plus 15. But then 20 to 80 is not plus 15. That's plus 60. And then 80 to 320, this is clearly not an addition process. This is something else. Um, but 5 times 4 is 20. And 20 times 4 is 80. So I wonder if 80 times 4 is 320. Uh, well, 4 times 0 is 0, and 4 times 8 is 32, so yeah, 320. So it looks like each is a multiplication of 4. So to, to repeat that process, we'll take 320 multiplied by 4, and we'll get uh, 1,280. Then we'll take 1,280 multiplied by 4 and get 5,120. All right, one more. Um, again, it's increasing. So we might think it's, it's a simil similar process of finding the multiplication term. So what times 1 is 16? Well, 16 times 1 is 16. Oh, sorry, 16, yeah, 16 times 1 is 16. Is 16 times 16 81? Well, no, no, I don't think it is. Um, but we do have some sort of multiplication process because we're growing at an increasing rate. 1, 16, 81, 250. Okay, so we need another possibility. Well, I notice that 1, 16, and 81 are perfect squares. 1 is 1 squared, 16 is 4 squared, and 81 is 9 squared. Um, I, hmm, I'm not sure what 256 squared off the top of my head is, uh, but I don't like this pattern 1, 4, 9. This is 1 to 4. How do I get to, from 1 to 4? I could add 3. I could multiply by 4. Well, okay, well, how do I get from 4 to 9? Adding 3 doesn't work. Multiplying by 4 doesn't work. So I need to rethink this process a little bit because I can't figure out what I need to square here and square next. Um, so let's have another look. Well, I notice now that 1, 4, and 9 themselves are perfect squares. So 1 is 1 squared, and we'll square that. 4 is 2 squared and we'll square that. And 9 is 3 squared, and we'll square that. So 1 is 1 squared squared. 16 is 2 squared squared. 81 is 3 squared squared. Or, or another way to say this is 1 to the 4th power, 2 to the 4th power, 3 to the 4th power. I wonder if 256 is 4 to the 4th power. Well, I punch that into my calculator, and I find out that yes, it is. And that sort of suggests that the pattern is n to the fourth power. So the next one would be 5 to the fourth power. Uh, and when I calculate 5 to the fourth power, I get 625. And then 6 to the fourth power, which is 1,296.